Hi, folks. Well, I had started on the Tommy's War Australian Light Horse Trooper a couple of days ago and assembled the trooper and his horse, but I realized I needed steel pins as well as a base, and I'm waiting for those to arrive. I suspect even once they arrive, it's going to take a while to get that project done. I want to take my time. It's a very detailed sculpt, sculpt, and I really want to do a good job on it. So I was searching around for some quick kills or quick little projects, and I got out my box of 172nd scale figures, most of them still to be assembled and painted although most of them are already assembled anyway. But that being the case, I uh, took a quick look through to see what I had in the way of World War I pilots. And the um, first one was, a, uh, this is a representation of one of, that came in a box of like 48 different figures. This is from a company called Orion. And maybe it's Orion miniatures or Orion figures. I tried to find out more information on scale mates. Um, I think it's Ukraine, based in Ukraine. Uh, the distinguishing thing about these figures are they're made with that sort of, I'm going to call it army toy, army men toy, softer, rubberish plastic that certainly isn't styrene of any sort. Um, and I have a couple of dozen of these. They're very inexpensive. And so got this guy, got quite a few of these guys, but this is one of the ones I had. Uh, he stands about 24 millimeters from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, making him around five foot eight, five foot nine. So pretty scale accurate. So that was one of the ones. And I realized if I'm going to do some quick kills, you know, I can do 172nd scale figures in a batch. And let's do a comparison of different brands. So here's one of the ones from Orion. Not the one I painted, that'll be coming up. But just to give you an idea uh, what this one looks like, just out of the box. Okay. I have about a half dozen of these. Uh, they really look much, much better when they're primed. This is from Munich Kits, and they uh, do amazing, amazing sculpts. This is in this is a resin figure, and uh, it is a uh, let's see. This is a British RFC pilot. Came in a set of I think four figures pilot, observer, and two ground support staff. And um, I've done a couple of these already and populated some of my Ravel planes with them. So here is the figure from Munich Kits, an unpainted, unprimed figure. And then finally, I had a couple of these guys and this is from Ares Company. They sell these figures called Aero Bonus. It's a Czech company. And this is an Austro-Hungarian pilot from the Great War. Um, since I'm not showing them all together, um, but you may have discerned, he's a bit slighter. He's only about 21 millimeters, which means at 172nd scale, he doesn't stand even quite five feet high. Now, okay, there'd be some short folks in the Great War, but I think that's a little short. And proportionally, he's got he, he, uh, sort of a miniature, miniature warrior. He's, he's undersized, actually. But it appeared to me, looking at this resin figure, that the sculpting was pretty good, given how small it was. And I do have a bunch of 148th Ares figures and have used a lot of them in my Edward planes and uh, my Aurora planes um, as replacements or as pilots because the Edward kits didn't have them. 
So those are the three that I decided I was gonna paint up yesterday afternoon and then do a comparison and, and give a review. Um, okay, so here is the sitting pilot. This is the Orion pilot. And um, the soft rubbery plastic sort of comes through <laughs> you can see I already chopped off his feet at the ankles or his legs at the ankles um, uh, because that was what it was going to take to fit him in. Um, he's got a nice pose. Uh, let's see if I can oops, get him. There we go. Okay. But um, the soft plastic, the least of the problems is getting the paint to stick. With primer, you can do it. And I did not Zenithal prime any of these guys. Why do that on something so small? Uh, maybe a miniature painter would be aghast to hear me say that, but that was my view. But the big problem was trying to trim off loose or excess plastic or ridge lines. Unfortunately, there was some excess plastic and a ridge uh, piece sticking out of his face. And uh, even with the sharpest scalpel, it doesn't, it doesn't scrape off neatly like resin. It sort of just pulls out. So he's got sort of a phantom of the opera face. He looks okay from this standpoint. He looks like he took a, a, a 50 caliber bullet on the eye socket on this side. Um, so there he is. Um, definitely from a quality standpoint, the least uh, uh, roughest of the three that I painted but then also the cheapest. Now at tabletop height or putting them on a display table, um, you're really not gonna notice it that much. Uh, he wouldn't stand up to an Instagram photo, that's for sure. Okay, second on the list, here we go. This is the, um, this is the British pilot, the RFC pilot, and this is from Munich Kits, and this is resin and the quality of these sculpts, really good. Now, I could have done even a more detailed job if I'd wanted to take a whole day on just this guy, but I painted him up in, oh, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes maybe, start to finish. So I shaded the uh, Sidcott suit and the boots rather than applying different, different tones sort of a quick paint job, but I do, I do think he's got really, really good detailing. And the goggles were such that I was even able to put lenses in them using the canopy glue. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this guy. Uh, he'll probably have to lose part of his legs too if I actually fit him into one of my 172nd scale planes. And finally, from Aries Company, the Czech company, I got to say that this little guy who is not 172nd, he's like 187th or something. I didn't do the math. My goodness, what a nice sculpt. And a finely detailed face. And again, painted him really quickly, 25, 30 minutes. I almost feel guilty that I didn't spend a lot of time shading, highlighting the jackets and the other details. Now with faces for this small, I'm not going to do more than two tones and a, shade, a wash, a flesh wash. Um, I just don't see the point. All three of these guys have mustaches and uh, I was able to get them on. So there are the three pilots from Orion. Not what I'd recommend unless you want to buy lots of pilots. Cheap, Munich kits, really finely detailed military models in 172nd, 148th. They even make them smaller. And um, then this from Ares, the Czech company. And uh, really nice figure. And you know, I could... Uh, do a little bending and shaping and get him in an airplane too. Okay, that's it. That was my quick project, probably a total of less than 
two hours, hour and a half to paint the three of them. But there wasn't a whole lot of plastic or resin to cover. So, thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.